One of the most popular tools for streamers to buy these days is a stream deck. Now a stream deck is basically a piece of hardware that sits on your desk and it's got a load of little buttons on it and every time you push one of those buttons it makes something happen on your stream whether that's a scene transition or a source shows or hides or an audio file plays that stream deck can help you just do that with one push of the button but what if I told you that you could actually do this without buying a $200, $300 stream deck. The way that we do this without a stream deck is by using hotkeys. Hotkeys are built into OBS Studio and it basically enables you to assign a function to one of the keys on your keyboard or mouse. So for example, if I wanted to press uh, numpad number two, and when I press number two on the numpad, I want it to switch scenes, I can set that up in OBS Studio. But the question is, how do you do that? Now, to do this, I had to set up a couple of extra scenes. I've got my usual scene one, and on scene one, I've added a picture of my dog, and I've added a scene two, and on scene two, there is no picture. It's just a standard scene. Now, we want to set up a hotkey to switch between scene one and scene two. So we're gonna go into settings in the bottom right-hand corner here. You can also go file and settings. We're going to go to hotkeys and we're going to just take a moment to take in all of this, all of these settings because it's a huge menu. Now, I want to set a hotkey to switch to scene one or to scene two, depending on which scene, scene I'm in. So I'm going to scroll down. If we start at the top and then I scroll down, you can see we've got some sub menus here, scene one and scene two. At the top of those sub menus, we've got switch to scene. And next to switch to scene, we've got an empty line. And in that empty line, we need to put the button that we want to use in order to switch to that scene. So to switch to scene one, it would make sense for me to use numpad number one, right? Because if I press numpad number one, then we go to scene one. And to switch to scene two, it would make sense for me to use numpad number two. Makes sense, right? So now if I press apply and okay, and I put my mouse in the middle of the screen, but I press number two on the numpad on my keyboard, we switch to scene number two. And if I press number one on my keyboard, it switches to scene one. So we've now set up a hotkey for switching scenes. Let's go back into the hotkey menu because there's a few things we want to check in here and a few uh, that I want to tell you about which are really, really handy for your stream. Now, we've got number one and number two into scene one and scene two here. If I wanted to remove that, I simply click the garbage can at the end of the line and we lose those hotkeys. But I want to put those back in, number one and number two. Now, inside each scene, we've got scene one here. Let's focus on scene one for now. We've got actual options to hotkey any source in that scene. So for me, let's have a look at scene number one. We've got image, A, and color source as our sources. I want to set up a hotkey to show and hide the image of my dog, which is called just image at the moment. So where is image? Here's image in the hotkey settings. Show image, I'm gonna set up uh, numpad number four, why not? And hide image, I'm gonna set up number, numpad number five. Now there is something you can do here. Every single, actually, let me show you this first. Let's apply that and I'm going to click numpad. I'll put my mouse in the middle of the screen as well so you know I'm not cheating. Numpad number five to, to hide the image. Numpad number four to show the image. Really is that simple. I'm just pressing five, four, five, four. Now let's go back to the hotkey settings. And there's something that can make this a little bit easier and save you some hotkeys here. If you see at the end of show image and hide image, there is an asterisk. And the asterisk basically means that these two are part of a set. They are part, uh, they're shared combinations. And if we set the same key to both, it will act as a toggle. So it will basically toggle the image on and then toggle the image off. So I've set number four and number four to show and hide. I'm gonna press apply, okay, put my mouse in the middle and I'm gonna click four and four and four 
and four. Because these are combinations, we can use the same number to do two different toggles, toggle on and toggle off. And that's applicable with all of the hotkeys that have the, well, that turn red and have an asterisk next to their name. So let's remove all of the hotkeys that we've got so far. And let's go ahead and have a look at the list and see which ones of these might be most suitable for you and for your streaming. The ones that I recommend to set up the most. Um, sometimes you might want to start recording very, very quickly during your stream and to open your stream software and to click start recording and then minimize it and go back to what you were doing, you might ruin your recording. So to set up a hotkey for recording would be a very, very good idea. I'd set it to something that you don't regularly use. Uh, so for me, that is control R. So for me, if any function that I want to do, I add control to it. I've just opened up my performance overlay, awkward, by pressing alt R. <laughs> uh, and that is start and stop recording. Similarly, you can do that with pause recording and unpause recording. Uh, what else do we have here? Start virtual camera. This is a setting if you want to use your OBS preview in Zoom or any sort of video conference call app, you can start and stop your virtual camera by using this. We'll talk a little bit more about this in the advanced section of the course. Obviously, start and stop streaming, very similar to start and stop recording. Uh, what are the other ones down here that I recommend? We have a couple of macros here, which I'll talk about in the advanced section as well. Uh, obviously, switch to scene. I would try to have a hotkey for all of your main scenes. So for your uh, be right back scene, for your live scene, for your uh, stream ending, stream starting, try to have a hotkey for every scene because you never know when you're going to suddenly need to switch to that scene, especially be right back. If you have an accident on a uh, stream and you really need to hide your preview, you need to hide your content very quickly, it's better to have a hotkey than to have to go back into the stream software. And that's the basics of hotkeys, really. Now, what hotkeys would I recommend using? What keys, physical keys, would I recommend hotkeying to your software? If you have a keyboard with a numpad at the end, your numpad was made for this because your numpad has very few functions otherwise. So make sure your num lock is turned on and you can start hotkeying all of your numbers into your hotkeys like so. Let's get rid of these. Uh, also, I would try and stay away from using individual keys other than your numpad. For example, try and stay away from hotkeying letters like W or Q or V because you're going to be pressing these if you're using your keypad, a keyboard in stream, like playing a game, you're always going to press WASD. So you don't want to be keying and hotkeying actions in your stream whilst you're using your keyboard. That would be a nightmare. Try to use combinations. So for me, I could use control and R, or I could use shift and R, and I can combine different letters, different function keys together to create a hotkey that I don't normally press. And that's it. Have a play around with those hotkeys, get those scenes switched up, and we will take a look into the more complex details of hotkeys in the advanced section of the course. Have fun.